Hello, welcome to another edition of Spark Help. Maximum Overload, SWA and SY Cable. Which one will win? Hope you take time to like, share and subscribe. So here's some cable tray with a SWA, SY and a piece of singles with a couple of connectors. Let's start with the SWA, which is on the cable tray and it's a thermo setting which is rated at 29 amps for a 1.5. And there's our thermometer, which we've got set to it. Here's the SY manufacturer's information. This is difficult to get hold of. This is rated at 18 amps. And that's where we're going to read the current going through it. I also have a piece of single core cable because I need to show some connectors, which I've got with uh, through crimps, as everyone knows them, but they're called butt splices. Um, and depending what cable you put through it, but 1.5, they're both rated at 18 amps. And they've been crimped correctly. So oh, let's see what happens then. Obviously we have our thermometer, one in each cable, the top one and the bottom one. And we're going to run it at the 18 amps for approximately four minutes, but I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to sit and watch this for four minutes. Uh, the day I did this, this was a particularly cold day. So the temperature is rising. This is indicative. I'm not. It's not exactly scientific in that sense. In terms of measuring the temperature, I just stuck the probe underneath the sheath, so it's got to penetrate through the conductors, and this is obviously going to warm up, and they're going to run forever at this. These particular ratings and the SY, obviously, it's all handling very nicely, and they will be warm to the touch if I was to grab hold of them. So let's speed this up a little bit more. And you can see not much happens. Temperature will gradually increase. Let's up it a little bit. Let's go to the rating of the SWA. So you can see the temperature. This is speeded up slightly faster this time. You can see the temperature is beginning to rise. And again, insignificant, not much happening. This is over see just a few minutes and they're feeling warm to the touch the armor less so obviously right let's up it then again for approximately three minutes or so again speed it up not much to see Obviously, if this was overloaded, the customer or the user would have absolutely no idea at this moment. Unless they happen to be grabbing hold of the cable at the time. But you can see it's all holding quite well, even the singles and the through crimps. Just readjusting those temperatures. Let's up it then for approximately three minutes. Again, speed it up. See the temperature now is really beginning to increase. And they are, trust me, they are beginning to feel warm now. Can I quite peel them off yet? Not quite, but they are feeling a much softer. Both similar around the same temperature. But let's see inside the conductors. So this is where I joined them at the ends and you can see the SY cable is beginning to melt. So this would be happening internally. See the temperature is now 180, 190 degrees C with 60 amps thereabouts going through and it's beginning to smoke coming through the cable and it's very pliable at this moment and this is the entire length of this cable now which is only about a meter or so let's go for it let's go up in current and it's the sy that really going you can see the one point five singles uh, that's melting nicely but remember that cable wouldn't be on cable tray anyway before anyone says uh, because it's only got it's not protected mechanically so it would normally go in conduit 
but I just needed to see. You can see that's really going. So there's 120 odd amps going through it, and there's a bit closer up of what you can see going wrong. At this point, I think I need to move the instruments away, and I've turned it off. But you can see the temperatures were really high, but the SWA, trust me, that is really hot. I'm burning my fingers doing this to see if I can peel it apart. Uh, yeah, that's particularly hot. So what have we learned? Don't overload cables. Make sure we have circuit protection to protect against this and design our overloads in the first place. This is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.